Okay, this is a demo for Native Wind. Um, as you can see, we have Tailwind CSS in, inside a React Native Xbox. So that was the demo. I'm gonna exit out of here. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to create expo app. I'm going to make a new app. If you already have an app, you do not have to do this, but we're just gonna create an expo app at latest. Open up your terminal. We're gonna CD into the file you want to do it. Uh, we are gonna use the templates flag to and use the tabs template. Then we're gonna call this native win video. Okay, we're gonna CD into the native win directory. And then we're gonna open up our code editor. Now we're gonna open up a terminal using control shift tilde if you're on a Mac. And now we are going to go to the native win docs, which basically copies Tailwind and makes it native for React Native and Expo. We are going to go into the installation, and first we're going to install these dependencies. And I did get this error, so I'm just going to copy and paste this, and then um, it seems like the there wasn't a match for Tailwind CSS uh, 3.47. I'm just going to remove this. Um, this specifies the version number, and so. If you don't specify, I'm pretty sure it'll install the latest version. Okay, now that that's installed, um, you can check your package.json to make sure the correct packages were installed. As you can see, we do have the 33.4.7 version 17 for Tailwind CSS. Okay, then we're going to run npx Tailwind init. And that creates the Tailwind config.js. We're gonna copy and paste this. And then we are going to paste that in, save it, save both of those. Um, we're going to create a global.css file in the root directory. And then we're going to copy and paste this, save it, exit. Next, we're going to do the add a apple.config.js if you don't have one already in the root directory again. Copy and paste this. Perfect. Save it. Exit. Now we are going to modify the Metro config if you have one. Um, we don't have one in this one, so we're going to make a new one as well. And copy and paste this as well. Exit out. And then we're going to go to our app.js and import the global.css. We already have this, so we're just going to navigate to our entry point into our application, and then just going to import global.css. And because it's, uh, because it's inside the app folder, we are going to have to cd out one more. So this goes into the root directory. And then we're gonna modify our app.json to use the Metro bundle. So if we go to our app.json, um, which is right here, and you scroll down, we're inside the expo, and then we go to web and metro. We can see we already used the metro bundler, so we don't have to change that. And then if you want to do TypeScript, you literally just copy and paste this fi file name, create this in the root directory, and copy and paste this. And then save it, and then you're good to go. So now, to test if it's working, we are going to first npx expo prebuild. We'll test it on iOS. This generates our iOS and Android folders right here and right here. And then we're going to run npx expo run iOS. This will open up our simulator. Okay, now that the simulator is running, we're going to go into our app and to the index page, which is tab one. Um, we're going to open up cursor and say design this tab like the Airbnb app using native wind. We're going to hit enter. We're going to close this up. And as you can see, we have the Tailwind class names. Please subscribe if you found this useful.